Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is me Faraz Kurban Rajpar and in this video lecture I am going to discuss with you about the medicinal chemistry of beta lactam antibiotic. In this video lecture you will be able to learn about the basics of the beta lactam ring and the different kinds of beta lactam ring and the examples of antibiotics in which beta lactam ring is present. Beta lactam antibiotic Examples of antibiotic that falls under the class of beta lactam antibiotic are the penicillin and cephalosporin. The term lactam is used for the cyclic amides, means the amides in which the cyclic ring structure is present are known as these lactam. And the term lactam is useful for the cyclic esters. So we know that the amide are the organic molecule or organic compounds in which the carbonyl carbon is directly bonded with the ammonia. So there is the nomenclature system for the carboxylic acid derivative and the carboxylic acid compounds. Like uh, in giving the naming of those compounds in an older nomenclature, we use the term alpha carbon, beta carbon and so on instead of the carbon number 1, 2 and 3. So in the older nomenclature, the carbon atom that is adjacent to the carbonyl carbon is termed as the alpha. And the next carbon to the alpha is termed as the beta carbon. So the beta lactam is named on the basis of the older nomenclature. The other name that is useful for the this ring system or the older name for this is the azetine dienone. Beta lactam antibiotic are those which contain the beta lactam ring nucleus in their chemical structure. Now let's check out what the beta lactam ring nucleus itself is. A beta lactam is a lactam ring nucleus that is the heteroatomic ring structure or ring nucleus that contains the four membered ring. In this four membered ring, three carbon atom and one nitrogen atom is present. So a beta lactam overall is a four membered heterocyclic ring in which the three carbon atom are directly bonded with the heteroatom. A heteroatom can be defined as uh, an atom that is other than the carbon and hydrogen. So in case of beta lactam, we have the nitrogen as a heteroatom. This is the chemical structure for the beta lactam ring nucleus. In this you may observe that this is the beta lactam ring that is the cyclic amide and uh, this is the carbonyl carbon. And this is an other carbon, the carbon atom that is adjacent to the carbonyl carbon is the alpha carbon according to the older nomenclature. And the carbon that is next to the alpha carbon is the beta carbon. In this ring nucleus structure, you may observe that this beta carbon is directly bonded with the nitrogen atom. That's why this ring nucleus is termed as the beta lactam ring nucleus because in this the beta carbon is bonded with the heteroatom that is the nitrogen atom. So now let's check out the different kinds or different types of the beta lactam ring nucleus are the different examples of antibiotic in which the different beta lactam ring are present. So overall, general, there are the main five ring system that belongs to the beta lactam ring nucleus. And uh, they can be of the different type like the penum, penim, carbapenum, cephum and the monobactam. So these are the different beta lactam ring. And uh, among these, some are the saturated, some are the unsaturated. Means in some all the valencies of carbon are satisfied and in some there is an unsaturation is present. So now let's discuss one by one. Number one is the penum ring nucleus. Penum are the primary skeleton that are present in the penicillin antibiotic. So penum are those beta lactam ring that are present in the penicillin antibiotic. Penum itself are the bicyclic ring. Means in the penum ring nucleus, the two cyclic ring are present. That contain 
a four membered beta lactam ring that is directly fused or what we say bonded with the five member thiazolidine ring so simply penem are the ring nucleus that are present in the penicillin antibiotic penem itself is a bicyclic ring means the two ring are fused together to form a penem among these two ring one is a four membered ring that is the beta lactam ring that we have already discussed and the, that beta lactam ring is bonded with the five member thiazolidine ring this is the chemical structure of the penem ring nucleus you may observe that this is what we have already discussed this portion of penem ring is termed as the beta lactam ring like this is the carbonyl carbon this is the alpha carbon beta that is directly bonded with the nitrogen that why it is known as the beta lactam and in this you may observe that this beta lactam ring is fused with the five member thiazolidine ring this region is known as the thiazolidine ring in the thiazolidine ring you may observe that an other heteroatom is present that is the sulfur heteroatom so in the penem ring we have the two heteroatom that one is the sulfur and an other is the nitrogen atom the next ring nucleus is the penem penem is what we say the unsaturated form of the penem ring nucleus a penem is a type of beta lactam ring nucleus with an unsaturation or the double bond that is present between the carbon number 2 and 3 of the five membered heterocyclic ring that is the thiazolidine ring clear so in this structure you may observe that this is the beta lactam ring nucleus and uh, it is fused with the thiazolidine but in thiazolidine that is the five member ring uh, there is an unsaturation or double bond is present between the second and third number carbon and due to the presence of this double bond it is named as the penem this e is what is representing the presence of the double bond like uh, the simplest example like we have already studied in our second school classes that the alkane and alkene and they are basically differing from one another by the presence or absence of the saturation and unsaturation the next type of the beta lactam ring is the cephalom ring a cephalom ring nucleus is present in the cephalosporin antibiotic as the name is itself self explanatory Cephalom is a type of beta lactam ring nucleus in which the four membered beta lactam ring is directly fused with the six membered ring that is the dihydrothiazine ring so in this you may observe that this is the beta lactam ring but now in case of cephalom this beta lactam ring is directly bonded with the six membered heterocyclic ring that is the dihydrothiazine so Uh, how cephalom is differing from penem penem has the beta lactam that is fused with the five membered heterocyclic ring clear but in case of cephalom the uh, beta lactam ring is fused with the six membered heterocyclic ring that is the dihydrothiazine ring and uh, this cephalom ring nucleus is present in the cephalosporin so this is the chemical structure of the cephalom this region of the cephalom ring nucleus is the beta lactam this is the four membered ring and the next region this one is the six membered ring region that is termed as the dihydrothiazine the next example is the carbapenem before going to carbapenem i want to clear another term that is the cephalom and cephim there are the certain anti uh, cephalosporin in which the cephalom ring is present that is indicating the presence of unsaturation or double bond in the six membered heterocyclic ring same is in case of penem and penem so now next ring nucleus of beta lactam is the carbapenem carbapenem is basically similar to the beta lactam ring the only difference is the substitution of carbon atom for sulfur by the addition of double bond to the 
five membered ring of the penicillin. The agent have the broader spectrum of activity like the example of the antibiotic that falls under the category of the carbapenem or the imipenem, miropenem, doripenem. These are the different classes of the antibiotic that falls under the category of the carbapenem. So this is the ring nucleus for the carbapenem. You may observe that this uh, the chemical structure of the carbapenem is similar to the beta lactam ring. The only difference is here the sulfur atom is absent, but the carbon atom is present. So the basic difference between the carbapenem and the beta lactam ring is the substitution of carbon atom for a sulfur. So instead of sulfur, we have the carbon atom present. So that's why it is termed as the carbapenem. And the carbapenem, this E is representing what the presence of the double bond between the second and third number carbon. So it is the carbapenem means it is the carbon substituted form of the penem and with the heteroatom sulfur is substituted with the carbon. The next class of beta lactam antibiotic is the monobactam. The example are the estrogenum. These are the antibiotics which have the monobactam ring nucleus. In contrast to penicillin, cephalosporin, carbapenem, the monobactam are not fused to an adjacent ring. Means the monobactam are the antibiotic that have only the single ring nucleus. Means they do not have the bicyclic ring system. As the bicyclic ring was present in case of penicillin in which the beta lactam was fused with the thiazolidine ring. And in case of cephalosporin, beta lactam was fused with the dihydrothiazine. And in case of carbapenem, it was fused within the carbapenem ring. But the monobactam do not have any adjacent ring. Like this is the chemical structure of the monobactam. You may observe that this is the beta lactam ring and it is not fused with any other adjacent ring. So overall here is an other side chain substitution but uh, this beta lactam ring it does not fuse with any other ring nucleus. So this was all about the basics of the beta lactam ring nucleus and the basics of the beta lactam antibiotics. In the upcoming lecture we will discuss about the detail of structure activity relationship of the different beta lactam antibiotics.